Well, Howard, let me ask you right now, if they, if they accomplish what they want, it's not, that just, it's not just that they're going to control these papers. What they're going to control is the narrative and the dialogue that spans as many newspapers as possible. In other words, you create the talking points on the editorial page of uh, the LA Times, for example. That's right. picked up by all of the other feeder, uh, the, the feeder newspapers and feeder media. Isn't that where they're headed just to control? For example, regulations, deregulation. What would they do with that? Well, their idea is to distort science on deregulation. They are very heavily financing now the fake scientific studies that regard climate change as a hoax. The reason they do that and the reason they're so big on re de uh, deregulation is because they are the fifth largest air polluters in the United States. Their industries inc include fertilizer, fracking, coal, chemical plants, things of that nature. And we can see from just what happened a few days ago in Texas what happens with deregulation. In the Texas fertilizer plant explosion there were 15 people killed and 200 injured. Ten of the people killed were first responders. That fertilizer plant was classic deregulation which is brought about by Governor Perry. Uh, he goes around the country bragging about how come to Texas where business is not re uh, regulated. Well there had been no inspection of that plant since 1985. And they also are required to report to Homeland Security. They had never reported to Homeland Security that they were stockpiling that much fertilizer in one location. So the, this is the type of consequences that you get when you get no business regulation. Now what you have to ask yourself is this. Would newspapers, which are currently coming out and criticizing Perry and criticizing deregulation, would those papers now be doing the same thing and would they be investigating that explosion if they were owned by the Koch brothers. Can you imagine going to the LA Times and firing the editorial page because the people, the, the, the writers on that editorial page are not going to agree with anything that the Koch brothers have to say. They've investigated the Koch brothers time and time again for all types of scams that the Koch brothers have carried out throughout this country. So w what's going to be different here? I mean, they're going to go in, they're going to fire, they're going to rehire people that are nothing more than parrots. Is that journalism? Well, as indicated by Clarence Page with the Chicago Tribune, one of the finest African-American editorial writers in America, he's indicated that he simply couldn't work for the Koch brothers, just as it was very interesting that when they, this story circulated among editorial boards all over the country, how many people were afraid to comment? These are, these are journalists, but they were afraid to use their name in commenting on what they thought about the Koch brothers taking over the newspapers. And another indication was the fact that when asked, they said they thought they would rather have Rupert Murdoch buy the paper than the <laughs> Koch brothers. Now, what, yeah. what does that tell you? Look what Rupert Murdoch just went through in England. They would rather, the editorial boards would rather work for Rupert Murdoch Criminal, con brothers. criminal conduct in the absolutely. UK where he's tapping people's phone. He's involved in absolute criminal conduct, Rupert Murdoch. And these, editor the these newspaper people say, look, give me Rupert Murdoch above the Koch brothers because I guess it's a different brand of crime.